This is my new favorite shirt. I want pizza, not your opinion. It kind of relates to this week's video. Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So I would say for like the past 10 years minimum, or maybe 10 years ago was maybe the first time that I personally heard it, but there's this common phrase of no offense. And I'm just here to let you know that that phrase doesn't make what you said any less offensive. But before we get into this week's video, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. I make anywhere from rants <laughs> to pop socket videos to skits. And so with that all being said, let's get into this week's video. So if you don't know, the phrase no offense is something that people use before or after they have said something offensive. For example, they might say, oh my gosh, like your shirt is like the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. No offense. So some people think that because they said no offense, now that person has no right to be offended. Like what did you really think was gonna happen? This? Hey, so I have to tell you something. So you know our friend group, like me, you, Brittany, Tiffany, Sheila. Yeah. yeah, well, the four of us got together and we realized that we had to tell you something. So we're not actually friends with you. Like, we realized that no one else would hang out with you, so we figured that it would be better for you to have four fake friends than to have no friends at all. But then recently we realized that it's probably not fair to you to not know that you don't actually have friends. So yeah, I just thought that I would tell you that. Like, we will still go to the mall and to the movies and stuff, but I just wanted you to know that like, we're not actually friends with you. But no offense. Oh, okay. <laughs> You see that? That right there? Yeah, that, that's not happening. You can't just like completely tear somebody apart and then say no offense and then all of a sudden they're not offended anymore. That's not a thing. And that goes for other phrases very similar to it. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but you're probably about to say something rude. I don't mean to be mean, but you're probably going to say something mean. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you're probably gonna hurt their feelings. Like, this is more realistically what would happen. Hey, so I have to tell you something. Okay. So, you know, our friend group, like me, you, Brittany, Tiffany, Sheila. Yeah. yeah, well, the four of us got together and we realized that we had to tell you something. So, we're not actually friends with you. Like we realized that no one else would hang out with you so we figured that it would be better for you to have four fake friends than to have no friends at all but then recently we realized that it's probably not fair to you to not know that you don't actually have friends so yeah i just thought that i would tell you that like we will still go to the mall and to the movies and stuff but i just wanted you to know that like we're not actually friends with you but no offense. You do realize that saying no offense doesn't make it not offensive. What's her problem? I don't know if your mother taught you this, but my mother most definitely taught me this. Think before you talk. And so before you decided to say this sentence that is probably offensive, you should have thought, like, basically this should be your thought process. If you have to say no offense, then it's probably something that you shouldn't say. I'm just putting it out there, that makes sense to me. And then some people, maybe not so much adults, but maybe like 
preteens, like the person who said all the insulting things and then said no offense, they're like upset at that person for getting angry. Like, why are you mad at me? I said no offense. Like, all I did was just completely insult you and like make you feel terrible. But like, I still don't understand why you're mad at me because I didn't mean it in an offensive way. How do you not say terrible things in an offensive way? I, like, that uh, I don't I don't understand it just doesn't it just doesn't quite make sense to me and so if you ever encounter a no offense person refer them to this video or buy a shirt like this aka keep your opinions to yourself I know that this week's video is shorter than usual but it doesn't really take a lot of time to say hey you probably shouldn't do that. So <laughs> that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. And I'll see you next Monday with a new video.